Welcome back guys, today is day four and today was a Starbucks day. So if you follow the channel on the fourth day, I usually go into town and go to Starbucks and upload some videos so that you guys have stuff to watch and it doesn't all just come out at once. So today I thought, um, since I've done a lot of time lapses of me meditating and such, that I would talk a little bit more about how I meditate and how I practice mindfulness. So mindfulness, I take as more of an active approach. So the way I think of mindfulness is actively being present with non-judgment. And when I think of meditation, I think of more just clearing the mind and being completely calm and free. So I think for me, mindfulness is a little more active to where you're actively um, passing away thoughts or actively focusing on sounds or mindfully eating, something like that. And meditation is more um, passive and in the moment, complete clearing of the mind. So for me, when I do both, I tend to lie down. Um, it's really up to you. It's just about being comfortable. And for me sitting, sometimes I move around and stuff. So I prefer to just lay down and that's how I'm most comfortable. So I really have about four different techniques that I use. One is completely clearing my mind, which would probably be meditation. Two is um, focusing on one thing. So if I'm focusing on like healing or whatever I wanna focus on. Three is just letting my mind go and noticing the thoughts that I have in that moment. And the fourth one is listening. So I'll just listen to the sounds around me. I get super distracted if I try and visually look at things. So I found that I do best with listening. So if the first one is completely clearing your mind, I would just lay here and as thoughts come up, I just notice them and let them go. There's different techniques that you can do for that and there's some meditation practices like the leaf on the river and things like that where it helps you get rid of thoughts or things in your brain. But I'm pretty good at this one, just letting everything go, clearing your mind and just focusing on your breath. So for two, if it's focus on healing, I first clear my mind and then with each breath in, I will say either heal or my body can heal itself or something to that effect. So I'm still paying attention to my breath, but in breath I say one thing and out breath I say one thing. And it can be whatever you want it to be, um, whatever you want to focus on. But for me, a lot of times it's on healing right now. Letting your mind go. So this one can be hard sometimes because we have so many things going on in our brain, but I feel like there's some valuable things that our brain is trying to tell us that we should probably keep track of. So sometimes um, just for short periods of time, I'll just let my mind go and see where it goes and what it comes up with. And Sometimes that will point me in a certain direction. Sometimes it's just jumble. Sometimes I get ideas, but I like to practice that one as well. You can really do any of these methods inside or outside. When I'm in the dome, there's no one else here and there's nothing really around. So there's no difference really if I'm inside or outside. But when I listen, sometimes I like to be outside so I can hear more of what's going on. There's too many bugs out here, I'll just be inside by the bay window. But like in the mornings or the cool afternoons, it's nice to just sit out here and look at the trees or just listen to the wind blow. You'll also see that I do some stretching as well. It's mostly because I have had a lot of shoulder and back pain before and my hips have been kind of messed up lately. But if you practice breathing while you're stretching, um, your mind doesn't actually know the difference between mental pain and physical pain. So if you stretch and put your body in a slight physical pain as you stretch and breathe in and out slowly, 
it can help you deal with uh, mental struggles and difficulties a lot easier.